Hey, you wanna play Daylight? Good, then let's play. So Daylight, welcome to Daylight. <coughs> he says to zero subscribers. Welcome to Daylight. It is a game that uh, I've been looking forward to very for a very long time. I remember I had this thing on my wish list, my Steam wish list. I had it on there since it was able to be put on wish list on Steam. You all know about the Steam wishlist feature. I had it on my wishlist as soon as it was able. Because I've been very excited about this. From the minute I heard about it, I thought it was sounded so awesome. And I cannot wait to play this. Now, as you can tell, I have played it a little bit. I did play it just for a second. Sort of do some tests and some plays and sort of see, you know, if it's going to look good here. And it is. It looks fine. It looks really good. So we're good to go. I'm very excited to be playing this. I know other people have been playing it. But hopefully this will get some people to come over, come on over and hang out over here with FRG. Who who knows what will happen? So this is largely blind. Well, largely blind. Of course it's a blind. I haven't played it. I've played like maybe five minutes of it. I'm not sure you okay with that. So we'll just get, go right into it. Let's let's get into it. I'm excited about this. I'm looking forward to playing this. It's not completely dark. It's getting there. It's not completely pitch black. Which I would prefer, but I'm excited to play. I wanted to wait until it got really dark and then play. Because it's always fun to w listen to somebody get scared out of their willies. But, it's close enough. I'm sure I won't even notice. We'll see. This loading screen is a long time. I'm not running a super beefy rig, so... I mean, I, I have an okay piece, you know, I have an okay machine, you know. It runs most games on, like, Ultra, but it has some trouble with certain things. But that's to be expected since, you know, developers can never, uh, you know, developers can never, like, make sure a game works for every single configuration. That would just be so, so, so expensive and really not even really worth it. So, like I said, not running a super beefy rig, but it does okay. And this is a long loading screen. Oh, here we go. Find the remnants of the past. We're good. Yeah, so I've seen this. Ah, good. You were right. Sarah, focus. They haven't much time at all. <clears throat> They've been busy. They certainly have. Use that machine in your hand to find your way. There's much to see, much to learn. Where am I? It's been some time now. This place has been waiting for your arrival. Gather up everything you can. The memories contained within these walls are waiting to be found. Sarah, listen to me. So the interesting thing about this game is that the uh, developer of Zombie Studios, they call it a procedurally generated horror game. Uh, Sarah, no matter where you go, there you are. Bucker about that. I don't know who says that. It's a quote or something. But um, no, the interesting thing about this game is that the developers of Zombie Studios have called it a procedurally generated horror game. And what that means is that every single play, every time you play, it's a different experience. So the game that I experienced roughly, like, maybe three, four minutes of, it's going to be totally different now. Or that's, that's the, the, the plan. The will tell you where to look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be quiet. So, like I said, I, I know basically what's around here. I don't know, this first area I've noticed is a little laggy. It's not me. Um... So, I don't know. Because there's like a constant loading up there, if you'll notice. Once we get a certain point, it'll be fine. There's something over here, I think. Yeah, right here. Uh, so now we know the date that the game is taking place. April 4th, 1988, concerning Patient 13. Run. Oh, that's not good. What's this? Oh. Alright. We are but one thread woven from the web of life. All things connect. Well, hang on. This can't be 1988. I'm dumb. This is a freaking cell phone. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're you're watching a stupid person play. You're watching a dumb person. That's okay. Obviously, it's not 1988, man. Freaking dummy. So, is there anything else here? Another thing over here. What is this? 
Okay, Mid Island Penitentiary hires new head physician. Uh, recently announced the name of the head physician, Dr. Walter Mercer, known as a leader in both smallpox and tuberculosis research. <coughs> Excuse me. The city of New Kipling has expressed its excitement, uh, having such a talented and passionate recruit on board and ready to do battle for the health of its citizens. Okay. Alright. I think that's it. Uh, it's all around here. We already got all the glow sticks that we can carry. Oh, wait, I have to do a glow stick. Okay. Um. Odd and frightening incidents. Whoa. The memories will burn into your flesh. Don't let them see. Oh, we're lagging, we're lagging, we're lagging. Come on. Just open the door. Let's throw this away. Content. Oh, look at this. Okay. Guess we had to use a new glow stick. Yeah, I'm not sure what the lag is all about. The track stopped here, though. I wonder why. What the hell? Mid-1960s, the rich fishing source along with easy access to trade routes <clears throat> drew early settlers to the village. This was all that was left of the village's sandwich shop. <laughs> Alright, what is this? Uh, Eunice Goodman gave patient stuffed bear as a toy without permission from patient's doctor. Miss Goodman has been thoroughly reprimanded and was reassigned away from the children. Children's reward is all further notice. Why? She seems so unassuming. That's not creepy or anything. Yeah, so it's cool. Like like I said, I got <clears throat> past this area. And it's completely different. Like, the whole layout is completely different now. That's really cool. Oh my goodness. Please don't do that. Please just... Let me win right now and just end the game, please. <laughs> I'm terrible at scary games. No oh, shit. Alright, let's go on up. Let's see what's up here. Uh, okay. Come on through. Okay. Earlier today I was playing, um. It's not nice. What the fuck? Oh what? What? Where? Oh my god. This is... Close this. Close this! What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm scared right now. What is this? Open this. Uh, Adam, I think I saw that thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't a person. Just stared at me and then disappeared when I shined my light on it. Billy says 
I was seeing shadows, but I know what I saw. Something's not right down there. I'm putting in my trans or I'm putting in a transfer request. George. So George got scared down here. I don't blame him. I'm probably terrified. I'm really not good with horror. <laughs> Horror games, at least. I'm okay with movies, but horror games just fucking kill me. Okay. Uh, so, it's interesting. Um, you know, because since it's procedurally generated... Oh, this lag is killing me. Since it's procedurally generated, it's not like you can really have a walkthrough, you know? Like, you can't, like, tell oh, you gotta go here, you gotta go here. I mean, you can, I suppose, but I don't know. I think this would make things kind of difficult. Oh, is it here? Alright, that's in here. Wait a second, we should use one of these glow sticks. Because I keep forgetting that I'm stupid. Well, the. Oh, that's my footprints, I guess. That's interesting, you leave little footprints. I guess to see where you've been? Uh, I could be I could be looking at the phone, I guess. That might be able to help me. What the fuck what? Okay. Didn't like that one bit. You know what? Can we do uh settings sensitivity? Can we turn this up? It's a little low for my, my taste. About twelve. Yeah, I like that a little better. I go. What in the hell? Um, I've got to get through. Okay. Is this chick English? I can't tell. Oh my god! Screw your lamp, kid. Okay, nothing really in here. Not sure what that the deal with that is. I'm gonna throw this at it? <laughs> I didn't think so. There's gotta be a key. Got a key, huh? I need a key? <clears throat> I've never seen a door like that before, so I wouldn't even know what a key for that looks like. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I was playing X Men Legends today. I know that's a random, but I was playing that earlier today. <clears throat> and I really wish they'd make an X Men Legends 3. You know? I'm a big fan of the X Men Legends games. So, I guess I just gotta get back upstairs. Or maybe downstairs. I need a key for this stupid door, so. May as well find one, huh? What is this? Emergency flares. Why not? They were in flames, Sarah. Use it to your advantage. They will not harm you if you do. So the flames are on uh, four. Okay. Wait a minute. Was this down here before? I don't know. Okay. Something is gonna happen. So it doesn't look like there's much down here. Let's see, we go back up. So I'm looking for a key to open that door. But I don't know if it's actually like a key key or kinda I guess we could go up.
Yeah. Is there another flight? No, there's not. That freaking noise is... Killing me. Oil share there before. <sighs> I don't know. That was we haven't been through here. All right. Let's kind of check around. I forgot we can actually run if we want to. Oh my god, what was that sound? What's what sound? I didn't hear anything. Stop trying to scare me. I don't like that. <laughs> ah. Let's see. Let's go ahead and come back here. Here. Yeah, we've been here. There's nothing here. If there's a key anywhere for this stupid door, it's gotta be somewhere around where the door actually is. So. Creepy score. Creepy score, creepy score. Oh, oh that's the door. Yeah, we had a, uh. We get the soundtrack. I got the soundtrack as I pre-purchased it. Like as soon as I was able, I was able to. And uh, yeah, so when it downloaded today, I got the soundtrack with this. So I, I don't, key. I don't, uh, I haven't listened to it yet. Where is this freaking key, man? This is upsetting me. Is it like buried right here somewhere? I do not know where this damn key is. Maybe around here? No. I think we got those flares for a reason. Maybe we're supposed to use them or something? Yeah, because we got those flares uh, downstairs. Let's see here. Open that. I cannot do anything down here. Not sure why. So I'm missing something big time, I guess. Is this new? Yeah, this is new. Okay. So we found a new area. But I don't like it. Oh man, a freaking bathroom. Really? I hate bathrooms in horror games. It's always like... Just some excuse to scare ya. Which I guess is good, but... Oh, I don't even see anything in here. And this ain't like Breakdown where you can actually go to the bathroom. It's ain't like Breakdown where you can actually go to the bathroom. <laughs> that was a great game, bath or uh, bathroom. Yeah, that's the name of the game, bathroom. The game of uh, Breakdown, the first person uh, melee game. It was really cool. It came out on uh, the original Xbox back in uh, I don't remember when it came out, but it was a good game, as I remember. 
key. Key. Anybody got a key? Or is it just kind of sitting around somewhere? Some flickering textures. That's okay. Not there. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. No. Nope. One, please. Uh, shadowy figures in his room. Staff has been advised to indulge patient in his delusions in order to avoid the aggressive behavior of observing patient 13. Mild observation. Okay. Alright. I think we're going over here. Thing that we were in. What the hell? I got my finger on that key. If some bullshit happens to uh, pull up that torch deal. What was that? Long. Oh no. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck? What the hell? Sigil? Uh, hospital, closure of the hospital will be unable to find a home for her ourselves. It's sad that a life brought into this world under such violence will now become a ward to the state. She will undoubtedly be balanced, or balanced between institutions. What's with the bugs? Oh, whoa, I'm almost screwed up right now. What's with this? Is it the game doing this or is my mouse fucking up? Okay. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something a second ago. What is with my mouse here? Hang on. Alright, I think it's okay now. That was strange. Okay. Don't like the whispering. Oh, I was gonna say. You know, I don't like this game because you have to sort of. What the hell is that? What? What the? Fuck yeah, that's what I'm saying. There is some freaky shit going on in here. What is that? A bear? Oh. Jesus. What the hell? What in the heck is this all about? <clears throat> Stop this madness. Oh man. Who do you see? I don't see anybody. What the fuck? Oh my god, this game. This game is mean. <clears throat> okay. So we got this bear. Is the bear the key that we're looking for? I have seen that in the trailer with the bear, where she puts the bear into something. So I don't know. Maybe the bear is the key that we're looking for. I want to check this out for a second. Hang on. All right. So it's interesting stuff.
up, some kind of pentagram or something. Apologize if it's not actually a pentagram, I don't know. I'm not much of a whatever kind of person it is to know what that is. <laughs> so I don't know. Alright, let's get on. Oh, never mind. We're not going that way. So, stop it. So I don't know how much uh, actual kind of like legit combat is in this game. I know that you don't ever actually get any kind of weapon, so I assume it's all running and um, you know, using the flare. What is that? Why did that light just go on? I want to run for it. Run, run, run. Because I think actually the light will keep them back or something, maybe? Why well, you have those glow sticks and the flares? Okay. Trying to get back to that one door. I don't know where I was at. No, that's blocked. I ain't going there. Well, actually, there might be something. Oh, okay. All right. So we're going to head back. I need to find that one door. Is, that, I don't know. is this it? I think this is it. Oh my god. What was that? Thing. Don't do this. Don't do this now. You're here? No. It's here somewhere, damn it. I know it. Maybe it's upstairs. It's up on the third floor. Maybe. This bear is creeping me out, but I'll tell you that much. There's stigmata tattoo, which is a creepy. I think it's over here. Is it? What's on my phone there? Do you see that? <laughs> oh my god! Jeez Louise, homie. You scared me. Where is that freaking door with the symbol? I think that's where I need to be. No, nope, not there. I think it was through here. If I recall. No? Where is that stupid door? It's down the second floor. Let's see. Here it is. Door's gone. Well, it is saving. I was hoping it would. That is gonna do it for the first part. I don't want to venture any further. That is gonna do it for the first part of Let's Play a Daylight. We're gonna pick up with this again, and uh, we're going to see what further horrors this hospital has waiting for us. Until then, I hope you've enjoyed this first part of Let's Play Daylight. I have been FRG. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.